Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for November 13th through the 19th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Scorpio. Yeah. Ooh. The overall energy for the reading, the Five of Swords, this is a pretty deceptive kind of an energy. This is someone lying to themselves or to somebody else. I don't know. We'll see. Um, in the recent past, the Empress, the Star, the Ten of Pentacles. So there's another energy here that you're pointing to as being, oh my God, they're the ones and only that I want to spend the rest of my life with. You know, you're giving me a sense of stability around them. You're giving me all sorts of things here. Okay. In the current situation, the Ace of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Well... There's love here, there's all sorts of things here happening still, but there's also a little bit of doubt. There's a little bit of, hmm. So you're not as certain as you were in the past there about something going on. So something is starting to look a little blurry here for some reason. In the immediate future, the moon, the ace of swords, the four of wands. Wow, this comes through as an energy of whatever action you're taking towards this commitment that you want it to be a commitment, or maybe it is already, uh, but whatever action you're taking towards this, whatever energy you're giving to this, it's almost looking like it's coming from a place of, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Okay. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Five of Swords. The Hangman, the Seven of Wands, the Lovers. Right. Well, not much is happening here. Not much is moving within the situation you're dealing with. Um, well, there's a little bit of rejection on your side in the sense of... It's almost like pushing against the connection here. And you're showing me a sense of a pause, like not, not a lot is happening, not a lot is moving. That's an energy in itself that's moving, the energy of, you know. Um, something about this energy. Let's, uh, let's proceed here. So that would make it deceptive because energies are moving. You're pushing the connection away, basically. But giving me a sense of, yeah, nothing's happening. You carry an energy of rejection towards it from somewhere. Let's do the Empress in the recent past. The Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Seven of Cups. My God, the world was full of possibilities here. You know, when, when this happened, when you looked at whoever this was, it's like, oh my God. Unlimited possibilities here. In everything. Yeah, really, um, really opened up the minute you connected to this energy, whoever this is. Let's do the star. Knight of Wands, Eight of Cups, eight, uh, Ten of Wands. Um, it's looking like one of those energies where things kind of moved in a good direction here there's a lot of passion there by the way i don't see much love you know there's actually a an emotional disconnection from the whole situation which makes the situation even harder because it's like well um if i'm connected to this from my heart it's a different story than if i'm connected to this because it looks really nice it feels like it has potential for stuff it feels like from the heart you just know from this other energy, it's like, okay, I think this is what I want, you know? Um, I'm not saying, because I see things rolling in a good direction, but they're coming a lot from the energy of 
more attraction than love, you know? Uh, the love part seems to be a little disconnection there at some point, which, which is starting to make things feel very difficult for this. Let's do the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Three of Cups. Okay, so there may have been talks about where this is going, what the both of you want, where you want to take this. And maybe there's been some agreements around that. Because I do see good energy around that, you know? Like, okay, let's put it together. Let's see where it heads. There's almost like a hope that love will show up eventually, kind of a thing. It almost looks like an arrangement, in all honesty. Uh, not to say that it, it, it almost looks like that. It's, it's probably not that. For some of you, it may be, but... It's one of those things of, okay... This looks good. This this looks really good for now. But I feel like in time it's going to open us up to more, you know? The more wasn't there to begin with. The the love, the whole, ooh, you know? Yeah, there's attraction. Yeah, there's, mm, this is nice. Mm, you're nice too. Mm, let's put those nice together and let's see what happens, you know? Um, interesting. Why does it feel like this meant more for you than it did for whoever this was? Or still is, possibly. I don't know. <clears throat> In terms of the way you perceived it, you're giving me a deeper sense to it. From the other side, it comes in a little bit... A different perception over it. Let's just put it that way. Let's do the Ace of Cups. In the current situation, the Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Fool. Okay, so there's love here. There's definitely love. Your heart has opened up to this. And you're proceeding from that perspective of, you know, great intentions for this, making it right for everybody involved, just being fully open to this. Okay, this is a different story. Very different than what you're showing me there in the past. So you have opened up. Let me do the Two of Pentacles did they though six of swords nine of swords queen of cups yeah. yeah you're stressing out about did they you know are they open to this do they love me you know is there love there because this feels like it started from something else it started in a different place than where you're at with this right now um, you're feeling the distance you're feeling a lot and what's interesting about it is that if you remember in the overall energy you're actually the one that has a little bit of resistance to it. And I'm sure you wouldn't think of it that way because you look very open to it. You're like, I'm open. What do you mean I'm open? Uh, you're still... If there's any distance placed here by whoever this is at the other end of this, you're somehow supporting that. There's an energy within you that supports that. And that could be fear that things are not going to work out. That could be all sorts of things that you carry for this too. Uh, for now, it looks like confusion. It looks like I'm not sure. Like almost like I need to know how they feel. Okay, I get it. But like, aren't they telling you? Or wait, 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 what's going on here? For the Hierophant, you get the Five of Wands, the Five of Cups, the Six of Cups. You're not on the same page here. You're lacking just a little bit uh, of something, you or them, or the both of you, that's just, it's preventing you both from being on the same page. <clears throat> it's like always bickering, always something, something that disagrees. The energies disagree when they're being put together. And again, I'm getting the same sense. If something changed within yourself and you look more open and more, let's do this, um, the energy on the other side seems pretty much the same. A little bit superficial, a little bit on the surface there. They're keeping it safe. Um, I can't tell how they truly feel about the situation because they're not showing me. I don't know if that's a conscious decision on their part or they just don't want to. They just don't care. You know, I have no idea. But you're definitely a little more involved at this time and a little more open which increases the stake, which will increase your own fear if there's any tied up to it. And I'm sure there are, usually when 
the stakes are higher, fears are going to show up. Uh, for the moon in the immediate future, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot. Okay, you're almost threading cautiously here in the direction of whatever this is. Interestingly enough, like on the surface, you're giving me a sense of, I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. Internally, at a very deep level that you can't even connect with, it's so deep that you you don't even know what that is. Um... You're looking quite strategic about it, actually, so it's quite funny. Um, but you are being guided by your higher self and the universe there, you know, like at that deeper level. So even though you may think you have no clue of what's going on and what you're doing, you're kind of doing it right. Um, let's do the Ace of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Strength card. Yep, you're doing it. You're you're coming in with an energy that wants to build that wants that wants something you have something concre concrete to offer here um oof. let me do the four of wands i don't see them being on that same page though you know that's my frustration about it it's like you're you're kind of taking the right steps you're building up you're opening up you're getting very clear about what it is that you want yeah it's gonna take some time but I see a shift on your side. I see you going from, you know, oh, this looks nice. This looks cute into, hmm, this is interesting. Let me open up to it to, I want to plan this for the future. Them, linear, same thing, same energy of, yeah, okay, cool, nice. I mean, you're growing with nice. Okay. For the Four of Wands, you get the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the Hierophant. <clears throat> Same thing. I mean, pay attention to where you're giving at this point because there's a lot of energy growing and and it's because you're growing internally and because you're working on yourself to get to this place of emotional stability clarity all of that great you already have it around here but you're definitely stepping into it like fully um given that this is a two-way street the energy that i see coming towards you pretty much the same in in like, there's no real growth much. There's not going down either. It's, it's kind of linear. Kind of the same as you both were in the beginning of this. Not more openness, not more... At this point, it feels like maybe you should really pay attention to where you're putting your energy. Because it's a lot of energy here. And you seem very determined. You seem like in, in a normal reading, I would be like, go. This is great freaking energy. But when I see that the energy is not being reciprocated. I don't know. I would just kind of pause you in your tracks and have you ask yourself, where do you put your energy? And why are you doing it? And what are you getting back from that, that you're putting out? Uh, from the universe for you, you get the Hermit, the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. You need to connect with those very deep parts of yourself, with your higher self. Uh, that's where the truth lies. You're already giving it to me here. You're very much disconnected from this, truly, ultimately. In that very deep sense of you, you know that, you know, there's, there's no midpoint here where the two energies meet and they exchange energies and it's a beautiful exchange deep deep down you're showing me yeah i know and i'm pretty bummed out about it but i'm still gonna give in that direction okay i hope you start connecting a little bit deeper to to yourself there you know that you go in a little deeper um, <clears throat> I, I don't see necessarily a, 
I don't see an outcome to this. I just see your energy growing and growing and growing. And it's a beautiful freaking energy. Uh, just pay attention to where you're given this kind of an energy and what you're getting back from it. Because I don't see a return, in all honesty. But who knows? Maybe I'm blind. But that's what I have for you. Hope this helped. And I'll see you next time.